At school, I always tried to blend in. To fade into the background. To disappear. But the bullies found me anyway. They always do. The only place I felt I belonged was in Heaven's Hellfire. In that game, I made the rules. I could summon angels to protect the victims and demons to punish the bullies. But the real world? That... that I couldn't control. A at first, I did my best to ignore them. Until that one day, when, when they pushed me too far. When the DUP came, they said they were taking me to a new school, designed for people like me, different. For six years, she hooked me up to her machines. She made me call them out, always, always stopping before they could save me. Then that crash. That was my chance to, to finally really disappear where no one could find me and hurt me. But when I saw them rounding up more people who were different, I knew what she was gonna do to them, I, I knew. I knew we had to stop her. Uh, is this Delson Rowe? Yeah, who's this? Oh, I am just a huge fan of your work. See that tag you put on the needle? The yin-yang conflict of avian and desire, right? See, I get what you're doing. The whole give power to the powerless thing, and I want to help. Okay. Well, if you want to help, you can help me find one of the escaped conduits who might be here in the Lantern District. Oh. Well, why do you want him? Or her? I just want to shake his or her hand. Okay. Well, I've heard the DUP's planning to take all the suspected conduits they've routed up and move them to this holding facility they built downtown. The convoy's supposed to come right to the Lantern District, cutting across the I-9 Okay. You happen to know if any of these people have actual powers? Oh, oh yeah, yeah, I, totally. Absolutely, yes. Huh. Well, thanks. Uh, I, I'm sorry, man, what'd you say your name was? It's, uh, it's Gene. It's a dorky name, I know. Hey. My mom got Delson off of an old western. I finally...